Hurdy Gurdy Man. He wrote that about me. <laughs> so what inspired you to this instrument? Um, I saw one, and I'd never seen one, and I, it has a very unusual sound, and, and this one is very pretty. So um, uh, it's a perfect playing on the streets instrument. People haven't seen them over here in the States. Uh, this is a French design is what this instrument is. Thank you, ma'am. Um, so um, it just looks good and sounds good, and uh, people uh, are drawn to it, you know. They seem to like the sound, too, you know. How long have you been busking? Um, I was here last year some. Um, I used to uh, I used to live in Indy and played the mountain dulcimer and I'd go uh, at lunches I'd go to parks in Indianapolis. Um, you know, so I played in New Orleans. I've kind of played around some. It's it's just a hobby. It's uh -huh. something I like to do. Uh, we wouldn't have this conversation if I hadn't been doing this. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's uh, it's got a lot of advantages as far as. Just meeting people and having good conversations. Go ahead and talk about this setting here at the Bloomington Community oh, Farmers Market. Oh, this is so pretty here. It's such a beautiful day too. It's kind of overcast, but the weather is beautiful. Um, you've got all kinds of vendors. I've heard all kinds of different instruments, different people playing and dancing and singing, and it's just a good time here in Bloomington. Uh, where do you pick up your so your songs from? Uh, you know, um, what, I what? actually went to a uh, Hurdy Gurdy Festival in France uh -huh. uh, a couple of different um, times. They would dance all night. They would play tunes and dance all night, so I would rec record those tunes and come home and learn them. Um, I just play by ear. I, I don't, uh, uh, you know, I don't read music, I'm just a folk musician, and uh, they're just common folk tunes, and I try to play them on the herd gurdy as best I can. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate that.